أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على رسولنا محمد سيدنا أولينا في المدد يا رسول الله يا سادة وصحابة المدد يا مشايخ ونعم دستور قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم الجفاء كل الجفاء والكفر والنفاق من سمع منادي الله تعالى ينادي بالصلاة وادعو إلى الفلاح فلا يجيبه Peygamber Aleyhisselam buyuruyor ki uzak olan her şey uzaktır. Küfür ve nifak ise benim Allah'ın münadisidir. Ha. Küfür ve nifak ise kişinin Allah'ın münadisini farz namazına kurtuluşa davet ettiği işitmediği ha işitmesi ve davete icabet etmemesidir. Yani o peygamberimiz bu e, ezanı duyup da namaz kılmayan onlar Allah, Allah our beloved prophet peace and blessings upon him describes of those who when they hear the adhan do not follow that call of prayer but instead hem dinden uzak hem küfre yakın nifak <coughs> münafık olarak şey yapılır. But instead they ignore the call of prayer And those who ignore the call of prayer and do not follow that call um, show the signs of disbelief and the, shi- and the signs of hypocrisy. Allah Azze wa Jalla namaza beş vakit davet ettiriyor. O icabet etmeyen. Allah Almighty invites people to prayer five times a day. Şey noksandır. Allah'tan uzaktır. And those who do not accept this invitation Their faith is deficient, and they are, they lack faith and are far away from Allah Almighty. May Allah Almighty protect us from being in such a state. Peygamber sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem buyuruyor ki mümin kişiye ziyan ve ümidin boşa çıkması olarak e, müezzin e, as-salatu hayru men nevm çağrısına e, okuduğu işitip ona icabet etmemesi yeter. Our beloved prophet peace and blessings be upon him said that for a believer, for a believer the, the greatest loss and the greatest state when hopes have gone in vain is the moment when he hears the adhan and when he hears the muadhan recite as-salatu khairun min an-nawm but when he then does not follow that call there is no greater loss and there is no there is no greater state which is to be avoided ana ezanı duyup da namaz kılmayan çok şey kaybetmiş olur those who hear the adhan and do not perform their prayer lose a lot of things. Onun e, ümitleri boşa çıkmış olur. And those, they do not only lose a lot of things, but also their hopes will be for nothing. Kala Resulullah sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem Ahabbu al-bilad ila Allah mesajiduha ve abgad al-bilad ila Allah asvaquha Peygamber sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem buyuruyor ki Allah'ın beldelerden, beldelerden en çok sevdiği yer Our beloved prophet peace and blessings be upon him is said about the places which Allah Almighty loves the most in cities e, onun mescidleridir yani it's the places of worship it's the masjids bir şehirde bir beldede bir köyde falan en çok sevdiği yer onun Allah Azze ve Celle'nin camilerdir, mescitlerdir. What Allah Almighty likes the most in places, whether it's in a city, in a village, or in any other place, it's the places of worship, it's the masjids, the mosques. Allah'ın beldelerden, köylerden, şehirlerden en çok buz ettiği yer ise or- And what is it Allah Almighty detests and dislikes the most in cities, in villages? Oranın şarşılarıdır. It is the markets. Şimdi daha beter alışveriş merkezleridir gibisin de yani. And in today's time it's not only the markets it's the shopping malls. Çünkü orada dünya 
için insan dünya için oraya dalar. Because people go to those places, those shopping malls in order to dive into worldly things. Nefsini tatmin etsin diye. In order to satisfy their egos. Öteki türlü Allah yolunda ol, camilerde olunca. However, when you are in the mosque for the sake of Allah Almighty, Allah hatırlar. Then you will remember Allah Almighty there. O şeyden uzak dur. And then you will stay away from your ego and the places that make you forget Allah Almighty. Çarşı pazar her türlü insan var. Uh, outside on the markets and the shopping malls there are all kinds of people. Ayla Resulullah sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem اِذَا مَرَرْتُمْ بِرِيَادُ الْجَنَّةِ فَرْتَعُوا قِيلَ وَمَا رِيَادُ الْجَنَّةِ قَالَ الْمَسَاجِدِ قِيلَ وَمَا رَتَعْ قَالَ سُبْحَانَ اللّٰهُ وَالْحَمْدُ اللّٰهُ وَلَا اِلَهِ اِلَّا اللّٰهُ وَاللّٰهُ اَكْبَرُ Peygamber sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem buyuruyor ki Cennet bahçelerine uğradığınız zaman Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, said that when you visit the gardens of paradise, take nourishment from them. Peygamber Efendimiz sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem buyurdu. Sahabeler cennet bahçeleri nerelerdir? Yani, Thereupon the Sahaba asked, where are the gardens of paradise? Cennet, cennete bilirler. Because they were surprised that They thought paradise is in paradise and where are the gardens of paradise they asked. Dünyada cennet bahçeleri nerede diye sordular peygamber efendimiz. Diye sorunca and then they asked the beloved prophet peace be upon him where are those gardens of paradise in this world. Hazreti Peygamber Efendimiz sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem buyurdu mescitler. And then thereupon our beloved prophet peace and blessings be upon him replied it's the places of worship a masjid dünyadaki cennet bahçeleri burasıdır. They are the gardens of paradise in this world. Mescitlerdir. The masjids are the gardens of paradise. Karşılığını verdi. Sahabiler beslemek nedir? And then the sahaba asked what is meant by take nourishment from the gardens of paradise? Yani camide ne, nasıl besleneceğiz diye şey sorunca how to take nourishment in the masjid? The Sahaba asked. Peygamber sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem buyuruyor ki Subhanallah, hamdullah, ve la ilahe illallah, vallahu ekber Bunlar yani beslenir. It, and it is by saying Subhanallah, ve hamdullah, ve la ilahe illallah, vallahu ekber that you will nourish yourselves in the masjid. İnsanın e, ruhaniyeti, bu ruhu beslenir. To recite these praises upon Allah Almighty will nourish your soul in the masjid. Ahirete rızık olur onlar size. And to make these recitations will turn into provisions for you in the hereafter. Buyurdu. Kâle Resulullah sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem inne biyutullahi ta'ala fil ardı ve mesacidu ve en hakkan ala Allah en ikram manzarahu fiha. Peygamber sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem buyuruyor ki Allah'ın yeryüzündeki evleri mescitlerdir. Our beloved prophet peace and blessings be upon him said that The houses of Allah Almighty in this world are the masjid. Ora, orada Allah ziyaret edenlere Those who visit the houses of Allah Almighty who go to the masjids Allah'ın ikramında bulunması üzerine bir haktır. They will be presented with Allah Almighty's favors. Yani Allah Azze ve Celle'nin evi ihtiyaç yok ama Allah Almighty of course he does not need a house Burası onların insanlara ikram olsun diye yapılmış. But the masjids are places which are dedicated as places where Allah Almighty presents his divine favors and where he hosts his believers. Şeylerdir, evlerdir, Allah'ın evidir bunlar mescitler. Thus the masjids are the houses of, houses of Allah Almighty where the believers are hosted by Allah Almighty. Allah Azze ve Celle de ikram etmekte haktır. And it is in those masjids, in the houses of Allah Almighty, where Allah Almighty will present His favors upon His guests. On ikram haktır. Ona ziyarete gelene muhakkak. And those favors and gifts are truthful, and those who come to visit Allah Almighty in the masjid, 
they will receive without any doubt of those gifts and presents. İkram eder. Her türlü ikram olur inşallah. And there will be all kinds of divine favors, gifts and presents that are then being presented and bestowed on the guests in the houses of Allah Almighty in the masjids. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم تذهب الأردن كلها يوم القيامة إلا المساجد فإنها ينضم بعضها إلى بعض. Peygamber sallallahu aleyhi ve sellem buyuruyor ki kıyamet gününde mescidler dışında bütün yeryüzü gidecektir. Our beloved prophet peace and blessings be upon him said that on the day of judgment all places will turn into dust and will be destroyed except the places of worship the mescids. Ancak mescidler birbirine bitişecektir. The Allah Almighty will bring the mescids together yani bütün bu e, dağ taş bina zaten hiçbir şey kalmaz. On the day of judgment nothing will remain. Ne, neither mountains, nothing, nor no buildings. Kalacak olan e, sırf mescitlerdir. On, Only the mescits will remain. Onlar da hepsini böyle bir yere toplar, toplar Allah Azze ve Celle. And Allah Almighty will bring all the mescits all around the world together and collect them into a single place on the Day of Judgment. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم خير البقاء المساجد وشر البقاء الأسواق صلى الله عليه وسلم بيروه كي يار وزندن أن هاير يارلر مسجد لردر Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him said that the most blessed and the most favorable places in this world are the masjids. Yani bu, e, yerse, mescidler, mescidde bulunmak. If you were to ask where should I be, what is the blessed what is a blessed place place to be? It's the masjids. En hayırlısıdır. It, and to be in the masjid is to be in the most blessed places. En kötü yerlerde çarşılardır. And the worst places are the markets. Our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, says, قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم رياض الجنة المساجد قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بيقول كنا جنة بحشلار مسجدلردر. And again, our beloved Prophet, peace and blessings be upon him, reiterates that the masjids are the gardens of paradise. مسجد يعني جنة إنسان o huzuru başka yerde bulamaz. And when you enter the masjid, you will experience the inner, inner peace which you will not find anywhere else. Allah Azze ve Celle'nin evidir orası. Because in the masjid, you are in the house of Allah Almighty. İkramları And it is in the house of Allah Almighty where He Almighty will host you and he, where He will present His gifts to you. Çoktur. And He Almighty has many gifts. قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم ما من بقعة يذكر اسم الله فيها إلا استبشر استبشرت بذكر الله تعالى إلى من تهاها من سبع الأرضين وإلا فخ فخرت فخرت على ما حولها من الب وإلا فخرت على ما ما حولها من بقاع الأرض وإن المؤمن إذا أراد الصلاة من الأرض تزخرفت له الأرض قال رسول الله صلى الله عليه وسلم بيروكي يرزنده Üzerinde Allah'ın ismi zikre denilen yer parçası yedi kat altına kadar mutlaka yüce Allah'ın zikri ile sevinir. Our beloved Prophet peace and blessings be upon him describes that when the praise of Allah Almighty is performed in one place then that entire place up until the seven skies is filled with the praise of Allah Almighty. Bizim bu mescidler, şeyler, dergahlar nerede Allah zikredilirse o yeryüzü o yedi kat kadar Allah'a zikreder, hamd eder, sevinir. Wherever Allah Almighty is praised, in the masjids, in the dergahs, then that place will be filled with Allah Almighty's praise, not only in that place in the earth, but up until the seven heavens. Ve etrafındaki yer parçalarına karşı övünür. Yani... And that place where the remembrance and the praise 
of Allah who much is performed, will be happy and that very place will be proud and that place will speak happily to its surroundings. Etrafta zikr olunmayan yerler varsa onlara övünür ki bak bizim benim üstümde Allah'ın zikri oluyor diye. And then that place will say to its surroundings look how happy I am and how proud I am that I'm a place where the remembrance and the praise of Allah Almighty is being performed. Mümin kişi bir yerde namaz kılmak istediği zaman o yer onun için güzelleşir. When a believer, our beloved Prophet peace and blessings be upon him said that when a believer intends to perform prayer in a place, then this place will become beautiful for the believer. Orası da güzel olur. Nerede kılarsa kılsın muhakkak orası Allah'ın kudretiyle süslenir. Wherever you perform your prayer through Allah Almighty's power that place will turn beautiful and Allah Almighty will bless that place. Güzel olur. Allah daim etsin. May Allah Almighty make us to be steadfast and may Allah Almighty guide people so that they may see this beauty. Sadaqa Rasulullah fi maqal aw kama qal زاد لا شرف النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وصحابه الكرام وإلى أرواح مشايخنا في طريقة النقش والنية العالية خاصة إلى أرواحنا أمام طريقة غوث الخليقة خاجة بها الدين محمد ميسر بخاري سيدنا عبد الخالق الزواني مولا شيخ شرف الدين ده سنة مولا شيخ الله فاز ده سنة مولا شيخ محمد ناظر مولا دين حقاني وسائر ساداتنا وصديقين ومن أحرف حضرتنا وجوارهم وسيدنا مصطفى بن نور الفقهاء حاج مصطفى ترابط جملة من زيادة الشيخ الرحمن الرحيم وخصوص شهيد شهداء الله الرحمن الرحيم الله تعالى الفاتحة